for uh, percentile, quartiles, etc. I want to talk about percentile rank and rank. Let's come over here to this sheet, PNR tool. I'm actually going to show you more than just the tool. There's a data analysis. And if you didn't watch the video 8 and you don't have installed 2007 data analysis add in, then you won't be able to do a part of this. Here's a note on the rank function. Here's a, a screenshot of the percentile rank. Our goal here is we have some sales reps and their sales. And we just need to find out who's first, who got the highest. And then we do our percentile rank function, just like we did a couple videos ago. And we, count, we saw how the percentile rank tells us how, what is the percentage of values that are actually below us. Now, uh, I'm going to first use the data analysis tool. Now I'm going to go up to data and here it is over in analysis. You click on data analysis and there's a bunch of things we'll do in this textbook using this tool here. I usually will show you multiple ways to do things so it's not totally necessary to have this. Uh, but it could pop up uh, on the test, so you got to have it for this class. All right, uh, so there's a bunch of cool things here. Earlier we looked at the histogram, now we just want to look at rank and percentile. I'm going to click OK. Now uh, the range here doesn't usually come by default. So we'll just, uh, you, what you do is the input range, you have to highlight it. And I'm definitely going to highlight the, la the label or the field name also. And then immediately come down here and say labels in first field. Hey, is our data in columns? It sure is. The output range, I don't want it on a new sheet or a new workbook. I want it in this sheet. So I'm going to click F1 and then click OK. And just like that, it got all of our values. It didn't bring the names over there. But it tells you, here's the, uh, the, the, the rank, and you can see it ranked them first to tenth, and then it gives us our percent. And as we talked about before with percentile, percentile rank function, uh, when we get to this point, it's looking at this value, counting how many, how many are below it, and then excluding that in the count. So when it counts how many are below, it's not comparing it to the whole count, it's the whole count minus one. So there it is, it gives you your rank and your percentile rank. Now, how do you do that? Sometimes you want to just add some extra fields off to the side and do a uh, formula. Well, there's a rank and a, and a percentile rank function equals rank. It wants the particular number, and that means, boom, the actual number and then comma ref. I don't know, you know, sometimes the, it says array, sometimes it says values. Here it says ref. That means all of the values. If you get confused, what do you do? You click up here. And then sure enough, the number will say is the number for which you want to find the rank. Ref, what is it? That's the guy who blows the whistle at the halftime. No, no, it's an array or a reference to a list of numbers. Oh, okay. So that's why these function argument boxes can be real handy sometimes. And then order the list sorted descending, which means big gets first is zero uh, or omitted. And the rank list uh, in ascending any non-zero value. So I'm going to put a zero here, but you can admit it to you. Uh, omit it. You don't need it. I'm going to click OK. Now, um, I can already see a problem there, so I'm going to hit F2. And this is a common mistake I should show you on the test. This happens a lot. People uh, then copy it down or double click and copy it down and we're not getting the right answers. Why? Always when you copy your formulas down, what do you do? You go to the last one and hit F2 to check. You see, I forgot to lock. Don't do that. Count, lots of people do their count ifs and their ranking where part of the range is locked and part of it is not. And then they hand in the test and ugh. All the answers are wrong. So let's go back up here. Guess what? You don't even have to erase those. You can just come to the top, hit F2. And since I forgot to lock them, I'll put my cursor there. And the way locking works is if your cursor is touching the cell reference, then you hit the F4 key. Now, it's easier when you first enter it because it, when you hit the F4 key, it doesn't both. But now, if you're editing it, you have to click in the second one again and hit F4. Both of those are locked. Control Enter to put the formula in the cell and keep the cell highlighted because I immediately want to double click and send that down. And now we have the right answer. Come to the last cell, F2. All right, so there's the smallest one. There's the second smallest one. Ah, there's the biggest one. There's the second big, biggest. Now, percentile rank, we saw this before. 
percentile rank. By the way, let me do that again in 2007. You know, you forget how to type these in, right? But it's so cool in 2007, you get this drop down. As soon as you see what you want, you can use your down arrow and then tab. And now array x significance. If you forget what these are, what do you do? You click up here. The array is going to be all of our values. Comma, oops, I'm used to typing them out. Uh, and notice it gives you a preview here too. And then the x is the value for which you want to know the rank. Oh, OK. See how even the uh, rank function and the percent rank uh, totally different descriptions of their arguments. All right, so I'm going to click on this value right here. Oh, again, I forgot to lock this. I'm going to hit the F4 key there, and then I'm put my cursor in F4 key there. Significance, that's how many digits you want to round to. You can leave it out, and it rounds to three. One, two, three. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to double click and send it down. And sure enough, we get the same result as over here. And now we can quickly compare values. So for Tina, 88% uh, or 88.8% of the, of the values were below her particular value. Second place if, for, if the biggest is first. Now, what if you wanted it exactly like this? You could sort it. Guess what? We learned in our introductory to this class, you want data set up with field names at the top. Ah, but in our stats book, what do they call these variables? And what do they call these in, in uh, Excel and uh, databasing? They call these primary keys. This is the, a unique identifier. But we call them element. That is the element or the primary key. These are the field names or the variables. Ah, these are called records in Excel or databasing. But in statistics, they're called an observation. Now, what's nice about this setup here, you remember you have blanks all the way around, too. If you don't, you can get in big trouble. I can just right click sort and boom, sort. Let's do uh, largest to smallest and boom, there it is. The uh, or let's go the opposite uh, because the rank, if we did largest to smallest here, it would have worked. But here I got to do smallest because the biggest is first. So I'm going to go sort uh, smallest to largest, boop, just like that. And now what if we wanted to format this just like a percentage, highlight the range, Control-1 is the keyboard shortcut to open up the Format Cells dialog box. You go to the Number tab and then Percentage. I'm going to say two decimal places and click OK. And just like that, we have our rank and our percentile rank for all of our sales reps. All right, um, next topic is going to be variation. We'll see you next video.